Welcome to WISIS Forum 2022 here in Geneva. And with me is Hamid, who's Assistant Undersecretary for the Curriculum Sector in the UAE. Welcome. Thank you very much. So your focus is on education, closing that digital divide in, in education and making the most of data, crucially. Yes, definitely. Uh, let me go over the historical line of what has been carried out in the United Arab Emirates. Uh, in the United Arab Emirates, we have a long vision statement has been set by the Vice President, Prime Minister, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid. He has initiated what's called Mohammed bin Rashid Smart Learning Program since 2012. From 2012 till 2015, we have managed to set the right foundation from infrastructure and setting what's called the immaturity framework in the education system, which have divided and articulated the role and the responsibility and the ultimate aim of each individual who are engaged directly with the educators and the students within the ecosystem of learning. That foundation have given us a very uh, 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 solid foundation of moving forward in assuring digital transformation is a core component of the education system. And the utilization of the digital, compo uh, digital technology is part of the tools that would support the teachers to enable them in assuring personalized learning experience would occur for every single child within the education system. Since that time, we start working on policies to assure how we can support every single learner to assure to him that his learning would tap on his need, on his initial dream that he have managed to establish during the era or during the time of early childhood. This is why since 2015, we start thinking about building a fully integrated ecosystem, an ecosystem that doesn't just bring the curriculum and learning resources, textbooks and lecture in place, but a digital ecosystem that would bring extracurricular, the volunteering work, the character profile of the teachers, the parents, the learner, all of them in one place to advise the learning community, the learner themselves, the parents, the policy setter and the educators globally. And then the, when the pandemic have took place, would, let us go back just before the pandemic. We have students who are uh, considered as students of special need. We call them students of determination. Those students always in global community of education, they consider them as disadvantaged learner. What we have managed to do when those students are outside of the school uh, community, we assure the continuity of their learning while they are outside the school. It has enabled them to engage with their peers, with their teachers, their parents are engaged with us even when they are getting their treatment abroad from overseas. They are still linked with the community who comes to the school. This is why the ecosystem of learning in UAE have, have a well-articulated title. It's an ecosystem of learning. It is not just a platform or infrastructure that, need, that supply the learner with the devices and equipment. This is the ultimate vision and the ultimate dream in the, of the ecosystem of learning in UAE is how to assure vertically, horizontally, we integrate things together from multiple domain, multiple stakeholder, multiple component that would feed the individual and the community and the entire society to work in cohesive fashion and assure positivity and instilling the values and the principle that would assure coexistence and many other uh, character element in the individuals would feed significantly in assuring the entire community of learning and the uh, whole society will progress toward the ultimate uh, game and mission statement. In theory, or in, 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 in this vision statement, people would say how we can realize it in practice. If you go to most of the educators, they would still talk about many fundamental theories, DOE, philosophy of knowledge, and so many things in the education system. But now, COVID is telling us, and this ecosystem of learning is advising us on how we can assure big data would be uh, the moving forward uh, and set the roadmap on designing all of the theories and practice relevant to personalizing the learning experience to feed into positive community. That would require from us to open an invitation for all of these researchers, again, educators, scientists and multi-stakeholder, the industry, to come and think with us, what is it that the individual need, which is the learner from before birth up to lifelong learning, before um, completing their graduate studies uh, while they are in workplace, and at the same time, how the digital transformation 
would rely on the big set of data to enhance and to assure the character profile of the individual is in a strong alignment with the ultimate need of the community themselves. So much potential there. Thank you so much for your thank time. Thank you for the time and thank you for the interview.